This is Jeff Baker of the Seattle Times coming to you from the Gaylord Opryland Hotel here in Nashville, Tennessee, site of this year's baseball winter meetings. And I'll tell you, day three of the winter meetings wrapped up today with the Seattle Mariners having not made any impact moves to bring in either a bat or uh, a pitcher. The Mariners did make a minor move uh, today. It's not an official move yet, but it appears that the team has signed Seattle area native Jason Bay. He's not a native, he's a resident of Seattle. Jason Bay. Uh, to come in and play left field, uh, some left field for them next season. He's going to see some time in left field and some time at DH uh, if that deal is eventually announced. It's expected to be announced uh, at some point after these meetings wrap up tomorrow. Uh, but Bay has apparently agreed to uh, a one-year deal with the team, and it should be worth uh, somewhere in the area of six figures. And, um, you know, other than that, the Mariners uh, are going to go home from here. Uh, still with a lot of talking to do uh, on their end. They would like to add at least one more impact bat, and they've had lots of discussions uh, with agents and with various teams here. As of right now, uh, I'm told that nothing imminent is going to happen uh, tonight. There's nothing uh, that the team has planned for tonight, and it looks highly unlikely that anything is going to get done uh, by the end of these meetings, which wrap up tomorrow with the Rule 5 draft. Uh, but some discussions are continuing. I spoke uh, earlier tonight with Scott Boris, who's the, uh, the agent for a number of players in baseball, but in particular for Michael Bourne, who's a center fielder that the Mariners are, uh, are, are pursuing. Uh, Boris met with the Mariners here in Nashville. He has no more meetings planned with them for here, but he, got, he told me afterwards that he plans to uh, continue talks with the Mariners over the next few days and few weeks ahead. Uh, and we'll see what happens from there. Now, the Mariners are also speaking with representatives for free agent Nick Swisher, who's a very different kind of outfielder from Bourne. Bourne, of course, plays center field. Swisher uh, is a right fielder and a first baseman. Now, the Mariners do have some needs at first base. Uh, they've got Justin Smoke there, and, and we spoke earlier today with manager uh, Eric Wedge about Justin Smoke and what his plans are for him going forward. Let's hear what Wedge had to say. You know, ultimately... Uh you know, when it comes to young kids that are, have been inconsistent like he has been, you know, that's what you're looking for him to be is, is more consistent to where you can count on him playing six out of seven days or eight or nine out of ten days. And, uh, you know, he has the strength to do that. You know, he has the toughness to do that. But obviously you have to keep performing to do that. And, you know, you know we gave him plenty of space last year to try to figure it out. And ultimately, you know, I had to send him out and came back. And we saw what we wanted to see, you know, last four or five weeks. You know, now it's time for him to take it on this year. You know, from day one, I mean, uh, and understand there has to be a level of consistency, you know, for you to be able to go out there and start each and every day. So, uh, but rest assured, you know, we'll have, uh, you know, something else in our back pocket where, you know, if we need to give them a break or if it's not working out, that we have somewhere to go. So there you have it, Eric Wedge uh, speaking about Justin Smoke and saying that he would like to have some kind of a contingency plan there in case uh, Smoke struggles as he has his first couple of seasons with the, the Mariners. Now, uh, Jack Sorensic told us earlier uh, today, a couple of hours ago, that uh, he would also like to bring in uh, first base insurance uh, and, and have that there. He did point out that Mike Karp is still with the team and does play first base, but Mike Karp is also coming off a very subpar season, and there's no guarantee that he's going to be able to fill some of the Mariners' needs there. So, looking forward, it looks as if the Mariners are going to go after another first base DH type as well, unless they can land Nick Swisher, who does play first base in that case, so that would solve that problem. Uh, they would also like to bring in an extra catcher to go with Jesus Montero and with John Jaso, and Jack Sorensic also mentioned the possibility earlier today that he could go bring in another pitcher as well. Maybe it's a minor pitcher addition, or maybe it's a bigger one if he can't end up landing the bats that he needs, and I'll tell you, there's no guarantee that he is going to get that. The prices of free agents keep escalating, the cost of, of players demanded in trades keeps escalating as well, and that's why we haven't seen too many of the really big free agents signed as of yet. You've still got Josh Hamilton out there. You've still got Zach Grinke sitting out there. Now, you've still got Nick Swisher out there, and you've also got Michael Bourne still out there. There's a lot of dominoes that have yet to fall in this process, and we could be looking, we could be looking, one year after the Prince Fielder debacle, we could be looking at another long winter before we really see anything decided on the free agent front. So we'll have to see what happens from there. For now, this is Jeff Baker, the Seattle Times, reporting from Nashville at the baseball winter meetings.